So uh, what did you do to entertain yourself while you were overseas? Well, tell you the truth, in the very beginning, uh, they entertained you. I'm, I'm very serious, you know. Uh, but then, uh, after uh, the war in Europe was over, we got to the point where we would form a softball team and travel in France and Germany and Belgium and play other teams. And uh, of course, I'd never had a drink when I was 17 years old. But you know, I would go out with the guys and we'd have some beers and so forth. And then the 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 different countries, the the ladies would come to the USO dances and. And I, I have always been one to take advantage of learning. I just, there's an awful lot to learn in this old world. So I was always busy and, and everything fascinated me. And I even learned to drive a Jeep because we didn't have a car when I went in the military. And so it was tough duty because I run the Jeep up on a sidewalk, almost run into a building. <laughs> but it was fun. No, I kept myself busy. And then we had uh, a lot of training, a lot of training. But uh, there was, when we were guarding those prisoners, both German and American, it was a tough day. We were on duty a long time. And then, you know, you didn't want to have to kill anybody. But if you didn't, I I'm sure they would have put me in to serve the remainder of their time. So I, we're not going to let that happen. But we never had to do that. But we did. These, we would have 10 bad guys shackled together. And the front one had a shovel, dig a hole. The second would cover it up. And we'd just walk around a big field like that all day long. Wonder. But anyway. <laughs>